put me on top. City on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far from me. Never caught off, not one too far from me. Never caught off, not one day. Never caught off, not one day. But I'm still on my way. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, an April Fool's Day edition. Glad to have you with us. And tonight, it'll be the Oklahoma City Thunder going up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Ali LaForce. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Gordon Hayward. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. In at forward, it's Dorton Williams. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the five down low. And for Boston, White and Brown are the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. Oh, we're in for a treat tonight, Brent. Two teams that know how to score the basketball. What makes good offense? Mm, uh, good players. I mean, you can scheme up the defense, scouting reports, make the effort. But offense, man, you need skill, and you can't you fake that. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Outside, Brown. Pass to Porzingis, launches it, connects from downtown. He seems very natural when he's out there at the three-point line and uses that kind of rhythm. Porzingis, nice look. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The three from Holmgren, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now here's Brown. 17 points in his last outing. Brown against Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. Now here's Giddy. Inside. And the big finish by Holmgren. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. It's White with a drive. Yep, that one goes. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. Holmgren with a screen on Holiday. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Holiday passes to Brown. Pass to Porzingis. Holmgren with the block. Wow. I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Four on the clock. And here's Brown for three. And again, Boston with the triple. And we have seen Brown take more and more threes recently, becoming very confident in this shot. Man, you watch Drew Holiday, Brent. This guy is so tough, physically and mentally. And B.A., there's a lot of guys in the league that we say are underrated, but the secret is out on Drew Holiday, especially after the way he played in the NBA Finals. This guy is the best defensive perimeter player on the floor, unselfish, and what a great backcourt partner. Now here's Tatum, and the first shot of the night for him, no good. Outside Giddy. Here's Holmgren. He's got five. Giddy passes to Dort. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Man, if this offense can get Lugans Dort to become a reliable option, it's going to open some stuff up. Outside Holiday. 
Brown against Dort. Here's Holiday, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. That's good from Holiday. Uh, such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. Holiday hits them both. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for OKC. Trailing by two. It's stolen by Holiday. White with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. White drives in. Soft touch off the glass. White's got his second basket of the game. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Holmgren. Five points in the game. Launches it from deep. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. Now here's Holiday. His last outing, we saw him score 13. Here's Porzingis. Holmgren with the block. Unreal stretch from Holmgren there. Allows him to alter or block a shot just about every time someone's in his area. High value assist there. Finding him inside for the finish. Outside White. And here's Brown for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work, but the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building, not in a good mood. Here's Tatum after the basket by Oklahoma City. Pass to Holiday. Shot clock at five. White for three. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Great pass from a great leader, Drew Holiday. Oklahoma City has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. Shot clock at three. Let's it fly. It's hauled in by White. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Outside Tatum. Over Williams. Off target there with a the little leaner. Well, next time he should do a better job, I think, of getting balanced and set up his feet. That just throws your body way out of whack and hurts your percentages. And that one's good. Holmgren. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Boston trailing. White with it. He's got seven. Outside Porzingis. Pass to Holiday. And here's Tatum. Down low. Porzingis. Holmgren with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And our rookie watch focusing in on the fundamentals. Free throw percentage leader since the break. Second, Chad Holmgren. He's really shown us that he can get it done from the charity strike. Time and time again. A big group substitution here for Boston. Tillman's checked in for Porzingis. Horford comes in for Jason Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. And here is Williams. In the game against New York, very impressive. Pass to Joe. The three. 
Horford pulls it in. And here are the Celtics, trailing by two. Tillman with a screen. Let's it go. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Williams with the screen. Hayward, the pass to Williams. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. Williams has gotten his second bucket. They have no answer defensively inside. Pass to Hauser. Here's Horford. Williams defending. And Horford gets it to go. Pretty much an Al Horford staple right there. A polished player who has lots of confidence when he gets in that range. Now Williams. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Holmgren with a screen on Horford. Williams from long range. Gets the trifecta. Williams has got seven. One minute left in the first quarter here. It's Brown on the wing. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. Yeah, the bump not affecting Brown. In addition to physically, mentally Jalen is so strong. Holmgren finds Williams. Here's Joe. Outside, Williams. Shot clock at six. Pass to Joe. Here's Wallace. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. 20 seconds left in the first. And here's Horford. Williams defending. And Horford gets it to go. A rabbit's foot in the shoe that time. Got lucky because the pick has to be better. It made no impact, but they still got the score. Here's Holmgren. And there's another one for the Thunder. And we're seeing the full potential of Holmgren. Any questions about whether he's NBA ready are being answered right here tonight. And so it's Chad Holmgren making things happen for Oklahoma City. Play tremendous D, challenging every shot at the rim. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. They yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Three-point lead. It's off to Philadelphia after this game, where they'll face the 76ers. And that's their third game of a long six-game trip. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going in the second. They've got Shea Gilgis-Alexander, and it's Wiggins in at the four. Coaches love Gilgis-Alexander, and the way that he's working, he's refusing to give in against that kind of airtight defense. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Oklahoma City. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. B.A.? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Left side, Tatum. 
And the ball out of play. The Thunder will have it. As the playoffs draw closer, here's what the East looks like. Taking a look at Boston, they have looked in control all season long. Aren't showing any signs of taking their foot off the gas anytime soon. Well, right now for Boston, their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year, and they haven't disappointed them. It's been a terrific season, and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs. Here's Hayward. Again, Oklahoma City. A staple of Hayward's offensive arsenal. Give him room to fire from there, and he'll take it. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Here's Hauser, guarded by Hayward. Hauser passes to Horford. Outside Tatum. There's the triple. And Tatum drills the three. Such a solid and unique big man in today's game. Horford's passing skills and ability to find the open teammate is very special. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And it's good. Two points. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Tatum. A 23-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Lest us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Strong finish by Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Left side Tatum. Orford outside. The three ball. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Seven points in the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30. And that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night. SGA using that size. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Now here's Tatum. Give him eight points now. Williams grabs the board. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here he goes. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. A big group substitution here for Boston. Porzingis has checked in for Tillman. Jalen Brown comes in for Hauser. White, he's checked in for Horford. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Pritchard. In that 2018 draft, you think about those names. Doncic, Young, Aiton, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Boy, that's a lot to begin with. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And now a break to glance at the rookies who scored the most per game during the last month of play. Fifth, Chad Holmgren. Those averages have distanced him from the pack. And the scary thing is, he may widen that margin. Side Tatum. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Pass to Holmgren. Good D by Porzingis. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Six-point game. Now here's Tatum from the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got 13 now. You're calling Tatum a capable scorer would be an understatement. He is an elite offensive talent. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. 
Holgren with a screen on Holiday. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist with that last one. Tatum against Williams. Pass to Porzingis. Holiday with the ball. Outside Tatum. Puts up a three. And again, Boston with the triple. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Outside, Williams. Outside, Giddy. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. He's covered by Holiday. Shots no good there. Now six for eight. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Tatum with it. 16 points for him. Just five on the clock. Spins. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Most NBA fans are looking ahead to the playoffs. But what's on the mind of the players at this point of the season, Grant? Well, B.A., focusing just on the postseason is a big mistake. Players know you have to be focused on the task at hand. You have to stay in the moment. Only think about that game right in front of you. That one drops. He ties it up. Starting in his rookie season, Jason Tatum's been a primetime player, someone you expect to dominate playoff games. Holmgren finds Gilgis Alexander. And there's the lob, and the big finish by Holmgren. And timing like this will serve Holmgren well, leaping at the exact right moment for the alley-oop. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Holiday passes to Tatum. Over Williams. And it's Tatum missing. Oklahoma City has gone five of six from three-point land so far. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. White against Kitty. Pass to Tatum from downtown. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got three assists tonight. Great rhythm to that shot. Tatum right off the pass. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Giddy passes to Wallace. Holmgren with a screen on Holiday. Pass to Holmgren. And here's Dort. Williams on the wing. Screen by Holmgren. Shoots from 14. And the jumper is on the mark. Williams has got nine points. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already. And we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Porzingis with a screen on Williams. Outside Porzingis. Off the mark there with a three. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on. Forget about this sequence here and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Giddy passes to Holmgren. Knocks down the triple. Holmgren's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. The three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Pass to Holmgren. Now Dort. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Here's Tatum. And it's Giddy with a rebound. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Williams passes to Holmgren. Again, Oklahoma City with a triple. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them 
on these possessions. Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, Holiday focus there and a good job of scoring despite getting whacked. Personal foul. And the Thunder making a change here. Joe's checked in. Oklahoma City has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Holmgren, the pass to Joe. Giddy with it. Holmgren with it. Defended by Porzingis. And here's Holmgren. Back to Giddy. Launches the three. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. And great awareness. Holmgren's so good at reading the movement of his teammates, a very heady passer for a big man. And so it's Chad Holmgren making things happen for the Thunder, providing the scoring punch right now, putting up a cool 22. We'll be back in a moment. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. Always nice to take a look ahead. Kenny, you ever take a look ahead? Well, sometimes I look at Shaq's bald head over there, shining. That's because I stay well moisturized. Okay. That is vital, Shaq. Vital. Now moving on to the Boston Celtics and the close first half they played. The obvious problem, uh, the perimeter D was pretty much non-existent. You let an opponent get hot and build confidence, it's hard to put the genie back in the bottle. Um, the mixed metaphor aside, I couldn't agree more. Kazam. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. But let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Chet Holmgren with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's been dominating down low. Gotta assume they'll keep feeding him the rock. Oh man, pouring it on right now, and why wouldn't you? White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the Boston Five. Back to Williams. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Counted from distance. Gilgis Alexander's got 17 points. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Porzingis with a screen on Williams. There's Tatum with the three. Oh, Tatum with the long distance answer. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're gonna find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Pass to Dort. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Look at SGA, so adept in traffic about the agility of Shea Gilgis-Alexander able to get around that inside contact. Holiday passes to Brown. Tatum against Williams. Back to Brown. Brown catches in! A terrific finisher inside. Terrific initiative from the swingman. Brown is smart at understanding when to look to score inside. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Fast break. Here we go. Releases from 15. It's good. That's and he good. drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the good line. Shot. A three-point play opportunity. 
Personal foul. First team foul. At the line, Jason Tatum. At the line with one shot. And that one falls for Tatum. Thunder with a lead. Outside, Williams. And Porzingis with the block. That's a forgotten skill as Porzingis able to get up there and throw that one away. He's finished top ten in blocks a couple of times. Outside, Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Williams. Brown finds Porzingis. Okay, do it, KP. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Holiday with the ball. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Outside Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. One's true, and that's nine for 12 for him now. Good, solid start to the half, hitting three out of four. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why, B.A., he's got this low center of gravity. He gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending down the stretch he's been flat out awesome he helped them get the lead and now he's making sure they keep it that's his second personal foul second team foul at the line for the Celtics Jason Tatum at the line with one shot And that one falls for Tatum. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Porzingis against Holmgren. And he trains another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Tatum from long range. And again, Boston with the triple. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Oklahoma City trailing. Pass to Williams. Dort for three. He drops it from range. Dort's got his second bucket on the night. Well, if you're looking for a 3 and D player, Dort plays D, and there's your three. Porzingis with a screen on Dort. This one for three. Big hit from outside. Jalen Brown. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. Holmgren's got 26. And there's nowhere on the floor where Holmgren can't do damage. He's put a ton of pressure on the D with his jump shot. There's Tatum with the three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got assist number seven tonight. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Oklahoma City calls timeout. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Hayward, he's checked in for Dort.
Boston on D. They lead by four. Here's Holmgren. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. 28 points for him. And this is what coach wants to see from Holmgren. I'll work in the defense to get a second chance look. Outside Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. Ten points for him. Drains the triple. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Gilgis Alexander sinks a big one. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Tatum inside, guarded by Hayward. Horford outside, and stolen by Williams. And he lays it in off the breakaway. And it's now just a one-point Boston lead. A sharp steal and some quick offense cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Takes a 13-footer. Again, the Celtics good for two more. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Giddy with a screen on Holiday. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. He's making plays all over the floor. Gilgis Alexander will not be stopped. Holiday looking for an opening. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Gilgis Alexander against Horford. Now here's Holmgren. Williams finds Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot over Horford. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Well, he's a guy that count on the produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Brown passes to Porzingis. Here's Brown. There's the three. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. And some changes here for the Celtics. Tillman comes in for Kristaps Porzingis. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Oklahoma City has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Outside, Williams. To the inside. Horford with a steal. Outside Tatum. Pass to Tillman. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. And the Celtics lead by six. Yeah, the way Tatum shares the ball really completes his package. Williams on the wing. Horford covering. Williams against Horford. Shot from the mid-range. Williams' shot is good. Williams has got four points in the quarter. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Screen by Horford. Brown passes to Horford. Pass to Pritchard. Clock at six. To the paint. Here's Tillman. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Tillman's got his second basket on the night. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Now Hayward giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Williams, a screen on Tatum. Hayward, the pass to Williams. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. As a screener, you know you're going to get hit. You're going to absorb some contact, but it's worth it. It opens up things for your teammates. And the Celtics making a change here. Shooting one. And Williams no good on that one. Points coming in punches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Celtics out in front, leading by four.
Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court for the Thunder, they've got Gordon Hayward, and it's Wallace in at the two. Horford draws the double. Here's Pritchard. Pure from three-point range. Pritchard's gotten himself going with a triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Wallace. Outside Gilgis Alexander. From 10 feet away, and he knocks the jumper down. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 in the second half. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Tatum. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. The defense has to try to limit Tatum's impact on the low block. I mean, he's a dangerous player there on the inside. Pass to Wiggins. Wiggins with a screen on Tatum. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. And he just powered through contact, trying to complete the play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Boston. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And he makes both free throws. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Poke loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. Hey, the slam by Hayward. Now with that quickness, Gilgis Alexander can be a very effective defender. It pays off with the steal and the break. They double-team Tatum. Back to Pritchard. From outside the arc. Rebound by Wiggins. Oklahoma City trailing. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Gilgis Alexander's shot is good. What a move by Gilgis Alexander. Using his agility to beat that contact. Here's Hauser. Guarded by Hayward. Pass to Tatum. To the middle. Here's Horford. Oh, getting it done. Horford gets it to go. When you have a big like Horford setting the screen and rolling to the bucket, there's sometimes nothing the D is able to do. Now Williams. Hayward with it. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. Wallace, the pass to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Here's Tatum. And the shot goes down. Tatum's got 43 points. With the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Outside, Williams. Hayward, outside. Rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Horford for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got seven assists in the game. The teammates love that. When Horford is looking to shoot fast, it makes the offense look dangerous. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, the Thunder, another three! 
rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Here's Pritchard. He'll just Alexander defending. There's Tatum with the three. The Thunder pull it in. Now here's Hayward. Pass to Williams. Hayward with it. Shoots over Tatum. Again, Oklahoma City. Yeah, the pure offensive ability of Hayward at work there. He's got a talent for finding himself points. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. And here's Horford. Back to Tatum. Let's go with a three. It's hauled in by Hayward. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Wallace. It's Wiggins on the wing. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Horford with a steal. Tatum looking it over. Here's Pritchard. Tillman in the post. Hounded by Wiggins. And here's Warford for three. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Uh, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Gilgis Alexander up top. Gilgis Alexander powers his way to the rim. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. And Boston calls time here. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Porzingis has checked in for Tillman. Jalen Brown comes in for Hauser. White, he's checked in for Horford. And Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzulla's huddle. He pleaded with his guys to keep their emotions in check, saying you're battling right now. Continue to play smart. Don't try to be a hero out there. Play for one another. Guys, let's see what happens. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Now guarded by White. Pass to Williams. Now here's Holmgren. Back to Giddy. Five on the clock. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. they got to get up a shot. Such a wide-open look. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. On the wing, Tatum. From 11 feet away, here's Porzingis. Plenty of space. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got eight assists in the game. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Trailing by four. Williams a screen on Holiday. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's Oklahoma City scoring again. Gilgis Alexander coming through big time. Outside, Brown. going to go on Chet Holmgren. Oh, assertive play there by Brown. Rising to the challenge of the moment. Free throw good. Brown. The and one puts a little extra insurance on their lead. What a play. Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Oh, the Thunder, another three. These moments are important for Holmgren's development. Needs to keep sinking those big time shots. Tatum inside, working on Williams. And here's Brown for three. And the Celtics have another three. And that three-pointer is big. 
cancels out the triple at the other end and helps stretch out their lead. Pass to Giddy. There's a minute 17 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And yep, it's good. Gildas Alexander is going to celebrate that one. Williams against Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Porzingis. That one falls. Porzingis has gotten four this quarter. Oh, Porzingis loving the moment right here. Stepping up huge. Pass to Holmgren. Now here's Kitty. He's guarded by White. Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. And it's in. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. Smart play call to get him something at the rim. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Tatum against Williams. Holmgren with the block. And this is so critical. They now have to score every trip up the floor. Nope. Every opportunity here have to have flawless execution. Williams, a screen on Holiday. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Good on the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And here comes the big one. So steady at the line. Can Porzingis do it in the clutch? Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Timeout called. The Thunder. They trail by five. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? Score quick then foul. Then you have to hope for some missed free throws. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And he buries it. And he's brought them within two points now. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead yeah coach has to love that it's Tatum at the line he's such a clutch performer and so both free throws good and it's a four-point ball game Ooh, I think that's a wrap and I can tell you you can't have more pressure packed free throws than the ones that are gonna seal the game now a timeout call by Oklahoma City they're losing by four Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And the Thunder in possession here. Williams from long range. Porzingis grabs the board. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. So the first one drops, and that puts him up five. Kristaps Porzingis throughout his career continues to look for good health. And when he is that, he's a force. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a six-point ball game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. No good there. So we see the Celtics get the win here. 
Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thank you very much. Jalen, you had it going. Can you talk about the confidence you had tonight? I'm just trying to continue to show people what I can do, continue to get better. Um, it's a long journey. It's a process. I still got a long way to go and a lot to learn. So I'm going to just keep going up. It's all part of the journey. Thanks, Jalen. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.